Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler, also known as John Wick Returns. So, <clears throat> I want to talk about this. It has nothing to do with the NBA 2K. I'm just using something to play in the background. Um, it's Miami Heat versus Lakers, NBA 2K 24, and the PlayStation Plus, which I suggest you guys subscribe to PlayStation Plus. I want to talk about something else other than gaming. Um, and I haven't made one of those videos in a while. This is about today's dating life. People who are out there looking for that significant one <clears throat> that's going to fulfill their life. Uh, dating today is just in a such a bizarre place. Um, and um, that's something I want to talk about. And I'm speaking from the experience. Like, I don't talk about my private life. I don't talk about, you know, who I date and how many dates I go with and all that stuff. I, I don't really talk much about my private life because that's something that's my own thing and I keep it to myself. But uh, I feel like I've been through so much now that I have enough experience to tell you where the dating uh, scene is right now. Um and I just want to know that I'm not generalizing women. I'm not saying that all women are like this. I'm not like trying to put women in some kind of like a dark, evil spot. But the way things are looking right now, the way things are, majority of them out there are playing these uh, manipulative, stupid Jezebel games. Uh, and again, I'm not trying to generalize. Uh, so what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is that <clears throat> I've been through so many dates right now. I've been through so many off and on relationships where it always starts kind of nice. You know, you meet someone and, you know, she likes you, you like her, like there's a chemistry there, right? And then you guys hit it off and you start going out, start hanging out, going to the movies, to the bars and other things, da 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 And, uh, after a couple of months, two months, three months, right? Then you start peeling off that onion of this person. Then you start finding out who this person really is, what they're all about. Um, and then you find out that they're all playing these games, you know, these manipulative games where they're not being honest with you. They're not being 100% with you. Uh, they're just pretty much using you for their own needs and they're controlling you for their own needs while behind your back they're talking or going out on the dates with another 50 or 30 or 60 guys right that you don't even know about so what i'm simply saying is um it is hard to to find a person to whom you can really uh get along with and and bring that bond of trust you know and it's really difficult to find that bond of trust and uh that's one of the things that sorry about that guys well it's funny speaking of uh she can wait Speaking of dates and speaking of women, she can wait. <laughs> anyway, um, what I'm trying to say is this. What I'm simply trying to tell you guys is that women have become more about like themselves and, and just like uh, abusing their, their own power trip, their own power. You know, uh, and they feel now that they're almost invincible. If you if you look at society today, they feel like I can do nothing wrong because I'm a woman. Everyone will look uh, more for me and try to be on my side instead of a man's side because men are pigs and men are this, men are that. It's really about what they're trying to do. I swear, I feel like they're trying to uh, degrade men and trying to. Uh, make us feel less than what we are. Um, and that's why they, they are on that power trip, that power trip of like mistress and Jezebel, right? Uh, 
I am in control. I own you. You do as I say. It's, it's a power trip. It's like a bossy pants power trip. And that's not good. And that's why you see so many single guys, you see so many dudes out there struggling to to find a good partner, right? Because it's all about playing those stupid games and manipulation. And some of the guys, you know, they they fall into that trap. They they start because they're naive, you know. There's so many naive dudes over there, and it's easy for them to fall into that trap. And it's easy for these Jezebel, you know, women out there to get those types of guys. They're everywhere. I mean, they're all over the place. I mean, there's so many of them. That's why it's so easy for women to, like, break up with you and then find someone else and find another, you know, dude they can manipulate. Um, but it's also our fault, too. You know, I want to say this. Uh, it's also our fault, too, our fault as men. If you look at men today, they're just a bunch of simps, man. Uh, giving out the money to these chicks on Instagram, to these chicks on PayPal, to these chicks on Cash App, to these chicks on, um, God, OnlyFans, support me, whatever, you know, uh, fans, whatever, whatever they have these days, go fund me, you know, uh, Snapchat, right, you name it. And these guys, of course, they have money and, and, you know, that's fine. You got money, but dude, you're not helping yourself. It, it's not about the fact that you have money and you can just spoil these women and give them whatever you want to give them. But what you're doing at the same time, you are letting them know that, hey, <clears throat> this is who we are as men today. We're going to be a bunch of dicklets. We're going to be a bunch of simps. And we're just going to start simping out these ladies. Even though you know she ain't going to do nothing for you. Even though you know she's going to be out there talking to another guy as soon as she collects your payment and as soon as she, you know, stop chatting with you on all this blah, blah, blah. You know she's going to be out there looking for another victim to go ahead and do the same thing and manipulate that, under, that other guy. So <clears throat> what I'm simply saying is... Um, We are also at fault here for being a simps, for being naive, for not thinking with our heads and thinking with this other thing. Uh, and they know that we're not thinking with this, we're thinking with that. And that's how they get us. That, how, that's how they grab you. They're, they're very manipulative. And manipulation, it's, it's demonic. And again, I'm not trying to classify all women as evil. They're not. There's some nice women out there, but it's a very small percentage, guys. It's, it's like a needle in a haystack. It's a very small percentage, and um, you're going to be having a very, very nearly impossible, difficult time trying to find that good one. And if you do find them, they're, they're, they're taken. Now, if you're blessed and, and, and God blesses you and you find that good one, man, don't take it for granted, man. Hold on to that one because it's what's out there right now. It's pretty effing bad. It's pretty effing bad. Um, and, and I've been a list, man. I've been with so many chicks in, in my 45 years and I've been dating here and there. Uh, it's always the same tune, man. It's always lies and manipulations and, oh, you know, backpedaling with some more excuses. It's never my fault. It's your fault. Uh, all the, the fake cries, you know, the, the fake everything, fake smiles, fake cries, fake manipulations, you know, and all that. Trying to tell you, oh, you mean everything to me. You know, I love you. That's that's fake manipulation. They're not being uh, upfront with you. They're not telling you, ah, oh, you don't mean anything, mean anything to me. You just are somebody I'm using to fill in my needs. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They're just using you to fill in their needs. Because that's what narcissistic person does. That's what, that's what they are, these Jezebels. They're narcs. They're narcissists. Oh, I need something to fill in my needs. Oh, I'm going to use that guy. I'm going to use Joey. I'm going to use Tony. I'm going to use Eddie. I'm going to use uh, Steve. I'm going to use this other guy. I'm going to use John. It's all about that. 
That's what demon does. That's what evil does. Only satisfies their needs. It's almost like they're collecting your soul. That's it. They don't give a shit about you, bro. They have no empathy for you. You could be laying on the bed. Uh, sick. Sick. With a stage three cancer, God forbid. And they're not going to give a fuck. They're not going to give a flying fuck about you fucking laying on a fucking bed. But they will give a flying fuck if you do something for them. If you send them some money through a cash app or PayPal. So what I'm simply trying to say here, and I don't know if you guys feel the same way the way I feel, but dating is pretty much over and done. Uh, there's no more dating, guys. It, it's dating, it's over. Um, it's just a manipulation game. Uh, it's not good for your spirit. It's not good for your soul. Mentally, mentally it's not good for you. It's terrible for you. So they're all just FOS, man, full of shit. Uh, and um, don't get fooled by their beauty. Don't get manipulated. Uh, that's weakness, dude. If you get uh, easily sed seduced, now, I'm not saying you shouldn't go out and have fun and if there's an opportunity, you know, go for it, you know. Have have a have one have one night stand, enjoy your life, you know. Enjoy and be a, be a playboy, right? And enjoy yourself, right? Uh but don't get attached. I'm not saying you shouldn't go ahead and 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 have a good time with these chicks if the opportunity is there. I'm not saying you should turn that down. What I'm simply saying is don't get attached to them. Because that's what they want you to do. Like the, the, the one night stand, whatever. You guys have sex, right? Oh, and then, then they get attached to you. They, she starts calling you, texting you all the time. Oh, it was so great. I said, I've been thinking about you, blah, 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 all this other crap. Don't get attached to that shit, man. Just, that's, that's a trap. It's an entrapment. So she can control you and keep you there, friends with benefits, right? Or fuck buddy with benefits. Yeah, I have my fuck buddies with benefits. You know how many I have? I got over 4,000 of them. How many do you have, girl? Only 500? I got 4,900. Close to 5K. Right? Friends with benefits. Fuck buddies. And that's what they're doing. <clears throat> they're selfish. They're manipulated. They only care about themselves. Guys, you need to wake up to this fact. Because if you don't wake up to this fact... You're going to find out a hard way. And that's the worst possible way you can find out is the hard way. Because you're going to feel like shit. You're going to feel terrible, man. You're not going to feel... You're, gonna, you're not, you're not going to feel to do anything. You can't even go to freaking gym, dude, because your energy is drained out. You, you're pissed off. You're angry. You feel like you got conned. Like you, like you totally like feel like you're ripped off or something. Totally feel like you're being conned out of the, out of, uh, the relationship and all that. Um... And it sucks, dude. It, it hurts. It's not a good feeling. It's it's a shitty as terrible feeling. And you don't want to feel like that. I'm telling you, you do not want to feel that shit. And I don't care how tough you are, what alpha male this and that is. Bro, you got a heart, you got feelings, and they're going to die right into that shit. And they're going to grab it and snatch it. So I'm just being real here, man. I'm just telling you what I've been through. And I'm, the reason I'm making this video is because I don't want you guys to go and fall into that same trap. Maybe some of you can leave a comments down below and let me know, hey, did you go through the same thing that I'm going through or did you have the same experience I'm going through? Um, now, if you have found the one and you're happy and you guys been together for so many years, God bless you, man. Consider yourself selves blessed. Hold on to that. Hold on to that, man. Consider yourself blessed. Because what's out there right now, it's pretty, pretty, pretty freaking, freaking bad. It is, it is ugly, ugly, toxically bad right now, what's out there. And you don't want to be stuck in that toxic radiation that's out there right now. You're going to, dude, you, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna, you're gonna throw up, dude. You're going to puke. Because that's how bad it is out there. Once you wake up, once you totally wake up and you realize what the F is going on. So I'm 45, man. I, I've been around. I'm pretty sure a guy my age can tell you the same thing. Uh, now, like I said, if you're lucky enough to find that one and to be able to, uh, to have that 
real woman that's mature, that understands responsibility, that understands that manipulation should never be used, that understands honesty is very important. If you have that one like that, who's who truly has empathy for you, who doesn't just care about your money, who will love you, you need to find a woman that's going to love you with money or without money, crippled or not crippled, legs or no legs, eye or no eye, limbs or no limbs, you need to find a person that's going to love you for who you are, spiritually, in your heart, in your soul. And that is very hard to find. So that's why I'm saying hold on to that. If you have that, don't screw it up, man. Don't, don't get, don't think with your dick. Don't, don't, even, don't even try. Shut that dick down, close it, just focus on your lady. Because you don't, do not want to take that for granted, man. You do not want to F that up. Because if you F that up, dude, woo, bro, you're going to end up like me. You're going to end up like me eating this banana. Yeah, you're going to end up like me eating this banana. Um, so anyway, I don't want to butcher this video. It's already 16 minutes. I just felt like... Uh, I do a video about this and talk about this. It has nothing to do with video games. Even though I'm playing NBA 2K24, I just felt like I needed to uh, kind of get this off my chest and let you know what's going on out there, man. Like I said, it's pretty bad. And I'm not trying to generalize women. I'm not trying to say that all women are like this. There's some nice women out there, obviously. But they're very rare. It's a small percentage. It's a small percentage and majority of them are taken already. Uh, but everything else out there, man, it's, um, God help us all, man. Lord have mercy. Yeah. God help us all. Anyway, <clears throat> there you go. There you go. Uh, I, I hope you guys, uh, like this video and please do let me know down on the comments. What is your experience? How do you guys feel? What do you think about today's dating? Uh, where we are, what's going on? It, you know, cause it doesn't feel normal to me where we are right now. It doesn't feel healthy. And it's, that's, that's why so many people are mentally effed up because of all this crap that's going on, social media, Instagram, OnlyFans. Um, that's not normal, man. That's not how the, the woman should behave. The woman should behave the way the woman should behave. Be faithful to, that, to one person and start a family with that one person. Those old values are very important. And those old values are gone right now. You don't see them anymore. And, and that's why everything is so upside down. That's why everything's so, you know, negative. And that's why people are having so many issues and problems mentally. I cannot tell you how many guys come to me. And they're almost crying to me, dude. Like, they, they, they're like totally depressed mentally. They can't take it no more, man. And I listen, guys, I always have time for you. If you're dealing with something... If you're depressed, if you're going through something, you can talk to me anytime, anytime. Follow me on my Instagram, follow me on Facebook, contact me through my email. I'm not that difficult to find. I'm not that difficult to reach. Um, talk to me. You can talk to me in VR as well. There, you know, Horizon, there's many different places you can talk to me. Uh, you're not alone. You are not alone on this island. I just want you to know that. Don't get that voice in your head thinking that you are only you are dealing with this and you are alone no 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 you're not and it's not your fault it's not your fault so just remember for those of you who are dealing with something don't hesitate to talk to me don't hesitate to to call me um i even thought about doing a podcast about this i, I don't know i might have to set it up i think it would be a great subject to talk about this because it's a it's a serious issue mental issue dating women men relationships it's a very serious issue, and it's pretty sad that not that many people are talking about it. This is a very it's it's a it's it's a it's a crisis. It really is a it's a, it's a substantial crisis right now. So many single men, so many single women. Uh, Jordan Peterson talked about this in a great detail. It's a serious crisis that this generation has, and it's not good. This is not normal. It's not good, and and. Like I said, it's good to talk about it, and we should talk about it. Anyway, love you guys. Be good, stay positive, and uh, I'll see you. I apologize for video being so long, but I had so much I want to say, so thank you.